Okay, so this is what's wrong with my shifter. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roy's Customs. Today I'm going to be working on my shifter assembly. I did get it removed. Uh, I do have my uh, shifter uh, linkage out and I do have my uh, stabilizer bar out. Uh, so I also went ahead and took the mount plate out because this is what's wrong. Uh, it is not uh, holding in there like it should. So what I am going to do is, last night I went ahead and made a couple of little uh, pieces here uh, to uh, weld in under here to kind of make a little bit of uh, sort of a seat to kind of shove those in and uh, hopefully this will catch and then it won't fall back out. Okay, so we're not trying to make it look brand new. Uh, we're just trying to clean it up a little bit and then we're just gonna shoot some paint on it. So uh, this should actually work. Uh, this should be pretty decent for welding these little tabs on. So we're gonna get to that. See, and I'll be able to flip these up um, to actually catch that rubber piece and also putting E6000 in there will give it some glue action. Now I'm going to let that dry for a little while. Okay, so while that base piece is drying, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to uh, take the shifter out of here. Grab a hold of the first piece with the pliers. And then, there's another little piece that has a straight. And then you just pop the spring right out. Take that out. Pull your shifter and your bushings out. Uh, you can pull that apart. And then this is flexible enough to go over the end. Take that little bottom boot off. And this, it has like what looks to be a sort of a keyway in there. And what you do is you take like the short end out first. See how that's done? Take the short end out first. Uh, but these bushings will go back in with the short throw shifter that I'm gonna be installing. And then it'll all go back together. The, the boot will even go on the bottom and everything. It'll, it'll work just fine. So I'll, I'll pack these back up with grease and stuff. And I'll show you the actual short throw shifter and I'll show you the difference. As you can see, number one, it is shorter. But number two, your fulcrum point, your actual center point, is actually changed because the bottom of this is longer, but the uh, top part is actually shorter. As where if like when I just cut this down, when I had cut this one down, it really didn't change much, it just made it shorter. Uh, it really didn't make it much of a short throw shifter. Uh, uh, but this is what really makes the difference is whenever you change the actual uh, fulcrum point uh, because you're actually using less distance to move your uh, shifter linkage with. So anyways, uh, this one I got off of Amazon. Uh, as far as I know, there was only like two or three left. Uh, even though they're inexpensive, uh, it is billet steel, so it should be pretty strong for a long time. So anyways, uh, I am going to clean this up. I already got the other bar uh, sanded down a little and uh, shot with some paint. I am going to finish cleaning this up. It's got some pretty chunky rust here, so I am going to have to get rid of that and then I'm just gonna paint it. 
Okay, so I've got the stabilizer bar, shifter linkage painted, looks fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect by no means. Uh, in the dark and underneath the car, nobody's ever going to see it anyway. So, anyhow, I'm going to let that stuff dry and then we will get back to the reassembly part and the short throw shifter install. Okay, so these parts have been drying for quite a while and now I'm going to go ahead and assemble uh, the uh, floor plate to the actual uh, stabilizer bar. Put a little E6000 inside here. A little E6000 inside here. A little bit on here. Maybe it'll help lube it so I can get it on there a little easier. There we go. Okay, so got it in there. Gotta make sure that it's pushed all the way in. See how close that thing rides? Oh, and always make sure. Now, this will have a sticker on this side. Uh, but it is longer and it does need to go toward the front. The longer piece needs to go toward the front of the vehicle. So uh, that's for some reassembly information for you. Uh, so anyways, now we're just going to kind of let this dry. And then uh, we're going to let this all dry a little longer and stuff. And maybe let the E6000 set up a little bit. Uh, I think it actually will take pretty much overnight for that to actually become hard but anyways uh, we're gonna let this dry up and stuff and then and then we will start reassembling back into the vehicle now that that's back into place okay so I did a thing I cut the uh, bushing cup off of the factory shifter and I went ahead and I welded it to the aftermarket short throw shifter. Now it is not as long as it was, but it is still longer than factory. So it'll still be a sh short throw shifter. It'll still have a throw reduction. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I actually did this. It will probably last a whole lot longer than this will. And the simple fact that if by chance these bearings get messed up where am I gonna get replacements at I mean maybe go to the uh, skate shop maybe get some skateboard bearings maybe but um, anyways uh, as you can see um, it is shorter than it was but it is still going to be longer than what this was much longer uh, this should give me the clearance I need for my exhaust um, that's one of the problems I was having with this uh, it just didn't have the clearance for the exhaust so hopefully that should take care of it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, back together and get it ready to put on get our bushings on go ahead and put our boot back on put the bushings back in here tap this one in really tight uh, probably because it's new uh, so anyways that much is back together and now we should be ready to install going to I'll pull that back out a little actually before I put that in there 
I'm gonna give it a little bit of schmutz. Just a little bit of grease here. It's probably too much, but whatever. Alrighty. Okay, so we got the schmutz on there. Sorry about that. And wipe my finger off. Okay, now put your other bushing in there. Throw your spring in there. And then we set the spring. Well, then we'll have to reset the spring. So I need both hands to do this with. <coughs> okay, it kind of takes both hands to kind of do that because you got to kind of hold one side of the spring while you push the other side in uh, so anyways it is in there now you want to make sure that it is uh, curved toward you so it would be curved backwards uh, because if you have the curve forward you're just gonna have issues uh, so make sure it's curved backwards when you reinstall or whenever you install your short throw so anyways, that part is done. Now I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the shifter linkage on and then uh, we're gonna give it uh, a couple of test tries here. Okay, so now we got our backup in there. Uh, just put the pin in, put the nut on it. Uh, I did lube up the pin with a little bit of grease before I actually put it in there it does make it a little bit easier and it can really use lubrication anyways so now we're gonna run run through it here right quick and see how she feels wow that's short 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 that is very tight very very tight um, like I say, it's it's not as uh, it's not as short of a throw as what it would have been, but it is still a short throw shifter. So, anyways, don't forget to put your little uh, boot back on the top here. It just sort of slides over. Uh, there's a groove that that inner piece will go down into and then this piece actually goes over a little lip here so anyways there you have it it is reassembled now I need to get a new uh, shifter boot because that one will never suffice so Okay, so now it's time to install the shifter boot. So we're going to need to pop this open, see what all it contains. Try not to cut it. Because it is fancy schmancy faux leather, simulated leather, it says. It's not a whole lot of anything, but we'll see what we can do with this thing as you can see I got this installed and I have these over these little uh, like tab like areas like there's a little lip like on each side so I went ahead and did that uh, it should hold quite well uh, so anyways we'll get this thing uh, back in the car and then we'll get the shifter knob put on and then we'll take it for a little test drive Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this back in here now. So now that's into place. Now we're going to adjust our boot here a little bit. Oh yeah, this thing is going to be way, way shorter. So we're going to put this on and then put our shifter knob on which I have my little grommet down in there okay that took a minute to do but uh, it wasn't too bad uh, the thing that's another reason why you want to do these evenly 
Uh, that way you can get this on if there's anything in the way. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back on and uh, I'm gonna get some my screws back in it. Uh, there's one that goes on this side back here and one that goes uh, one that goes on this side and kind of in the back and one on this side kind of in the back. They're actually Phillips as well. Uh, there's actually a plugs that go in here and here. Okay, so um, I don't have my camera mount in my car anymore because uh, I took the door panels out. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and go for a little test drive and see how, how it feels and stuff. Okay, so I am pretty happy with the results. Uh, of course, it does have new bushings in the, well, all the bushings are actually new. Uh, the shifter, wow, that's like a really short throw. Uh, not as short as it would have been, but I do like the results very much so. And uh, we'll see uh, what happens in the future because I'm, I'm still going to need to replace the uh, shifter assembly uh, eventually. So, anyways, we will see what the future holds as far as the whole shifter goes. Uh, I do still need to get another transmission, a better transmission. One that actually has five gears and not four. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I sure appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for stopping by and feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notifications if you wish. And as far as my old timers, uh, thanks for uh, uh, keeping track of what's going on on Roy's Customs. I appreciate that very much. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I'm going to head out of here. And uh, next I will be working on the golf a little bit. Uh, I'll be doing a little update uh, on the golf. So, anyways, that is to come very soon because I will probably be working on the golf uh, tomorrow. Uh, so, anyways... Um, Thanks for watching, and uh, have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.